Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very refreshing, I think it's a blueberry and raspberry juice. It's uh, quite nice indeed. So welcome back to the game in the previous episode, more attacking. We've got a couple of extra areas. We just recently repelled an attack as well from, I was going to say Sunday, but it's uh, Sunday. Um, and also research has been completed for machining. Let's have a quick look at what we can go for. Um, let's go with, straight away with this one. It gives us mechanical tentacles and spider legs. Don't really want either of those, although the tentacles might be interesting for the type of force that we're making and yeah we'll probably pick that up in a couple of months because it's uh it's a it's a research that we get a bonus from from being i mean not allied but certainly uh working with a couple of people either way we are going to be attacking some more and at minimum i want to take gug and Amayenis. We might also, uh, might also, also, <laughs> we may also uh, destroy the aerial jelly and the titan blade weed. The latter, however, is quite a big task, so we'll see about that one. We have an undertaker, we have a death drop, we have two death drops, and actually, you know, we have four death drops, two undertakers, and a couple of the abscesses. And, well, do I want to take over, do I want to go and destroy the jelly? It's insufficient supply to return, but, I mean... Shall we just head over there? I think I think it would be prudent to do that. I'm not going to take the Undertakers, though, because they're boarding vessels, and while the aerial jelly, it wouldn't really matter. Let's just head over, and I'll say... <sighs> Supply allocation. Yeah, I'll need, I need more to take to get there. We're on 80, and we need 163. Oh, more attacking over here, which is interesting. This guy's taking over... A lot of other sites. Let's have a quick look at diplomatic relations here. And yep, they're at war with these. So there's been a lot of nonsense going on there. That's uh, fair enough, I guess. I guess we'll not take that one. We'll not take that one. There's the research completed. That was very quick to do. I think we're going to go for a double bomb accuracy. Ooh, but in order to get that, we will need triplanes. Hmm... No, I will go for the flat cannon because it's just, it's it's so useful. You really want to have it. I mean, if we take supply ships, look at that, you can see the supplies. We can actually get to Gug if we don't take the supply ships, which is an interesting one. I don't know why it takes so many resources to return. That's, that's of interest. Looks like we're fully recovered over here, which is fine. I'm hopefully going to build, or rather I'm waiting... To build, oh, there we go, we can attack. Um, enough for a safe return. Yeah, I'm hopefully going to get enough to build the the Kraken Revenant. 6,000 to get that. And, well, that should be quite an interesting thing to see. I wonder if it has supply. I've not actually used it. So there's the jelly. And it is actually quite a... Quite a... <laughs> Yeah, a big thing, as we have seen previously. I'm moving these guys back over, so when I start the fight, I can immediately move them up, although our service ceiling is not much above the jelly, I wouldn't imagine. But I'm hoping it's enough so we can, well, basically just go straight across it here. And I can't imagine that the bombs will take long at um, getting this guy out of the sky. There's a couple of good hits. There's another good couple of hits. I'm just going to keep moving over and because i don't want it to start turning on like it's doing there too well it is grabbing people looks luckily, luckily there's a lot of cannons firing in as well and the jelly's gone it was that easy to take out wow i wouldn't have thought that that would have been uh destroyed as fast as it was so we can return we can also go for the titan blade weed but no we will head back to here and We've got some reputation from doing that. We're still disliked because we are cultists and attacking everybody. So, I mean, fair point. Well made, I guess. Um, so, how long until we can get over to uh, Gug? It would be quite a decent supply. Oh, uh, Golden Age. A great sense of vigor and renewal sweeps the land. So, this is towns and city upgrades take half time. And we can build art galleries in cities. Extra research. Three spies available. Unrest per city and one per town. That's... Pretty cool. Let me have a suit of spies. Have a quick look here. Um, I can build a spy network or sabotage production. I want to build a spy network. And we have succeeded in making new friends, which is good. I'm going to send... I can't spend a, a spy there, but I can view this city here. Build a spy network there. And we've succeeded in making some new friends. It's cost some money, but that's fine. I don't have any problem with that. So we have... Oh, a diplomatic offer has been sent. It's cancel non-aggression pact. And I demonstrate submission 
Uh, okay. Losing six reputation, gaining them three. Interesting. Cancelling non-aggression, though, is not terrible for me. I mean... I'm happy just to cancel the non-aggression. Really. And receive some money. Make offer. There's the counter offer. <laughs> so, fine. Can we build an art gallery? We can. It is extra income, reduction in un unrest, but also increases reputation. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not overly concerned about that one. All of our mini tanks are sitting here. And we have more undertakers here as well. Do I just want to go to there? Yeah, I'm going to take over Gug from here. This one, we're building our supplies up in order to try and attack their main city, which we can have a quick look at, is fairly large. Steel research is 38%. I'm going to try. Didn't work out. It was a bit of a gamble, but there you are. We do have a deep coal mine now, which is good. And, oh, a diplomatic offer of truce. No, no, I don't think so. Um, automatic resolution is victory. I will accept that, and that should be fine. And I'm going to do a, a gentle takeover. Because as people rightly pointed out, the Brutal does reduce our rep. I'm going to say reject that. I don't want that truce at all. I do want to take these areas, though. And that's another ritual site. There is... It says automatic resolution is we will lose the Undertaker, but we will... We will, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just start that fight, to be honest. It says we'll lose the Undertaker if we were to do that uh, manually. I, I disagree. I don't think we'll lose anything. If we are if we are cautious, but let's just see how we get on here. So there's the boarding. Oh, they have aerial <laughs> charges. Move! Why is it not moving? Ooh, that was risky. Uh, okay, yeah. Don't know if you saw what happened there. It went right above and all the aerial charges came out. I tried to move it and it didn't move. It wasn't doing it. There we go. There's that captured. That was risky. <laughs> I did look at the top and think it's got no flak. They might have aerial charges. Um, but yeah, gentle takeover. And there we go. Alright, so we are quite a ways before we can take this thing, but that's alright, I guess. Uh, this is going to just wait there for now. I mean, oh, so a diplomatic offer from this guy. It says Cubis, which view, which they actually control Cogbra. They want a defensive pact. I, I, I don't want a defense pact, quite frankly. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's the end of that chat, basically. From here, we still have our Undertaker sitting there. That is our reactionary force on the left-hand side. That's as good as it's going to get, really, over there. Um, some unrest is still in Catwick here. I could build a garrison, but the level of unrest is... It's, it's like one level. I'm not too bothered about that at all, realistically. So, how long until we can get over there? Um, insufficient supply to move. We need a lot more supply. Good grief. Um, would it be best to perhaps just remove some of the ships? Like, could we just get over there? I mean, we'll take the Undertakers because they are really good at boarding. Or maybe get rid of one of these, two of the cannons, and just do high-level bombing. It depends what they've got, actually. View the city. I can see that each of these have... I think their are charges on the top there. So... And they definitely have charges. If the spy network was up and running... <laughs> it would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, I really want to deal with that blade weed as well, but it's not going to happen. We've got two undertakers here that we can... We can, um send over as well research complete is the uh, anti-air tactics what else can we get i want to get something we've got fleet speed i wonder if there's anything we can get that will give us faster movement again or maybe hmm large depot and logistics center Yep, that's the one. We will, however, need aerial strategy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, so from here, we could probably get rid of 
death drop or two, we'd have to get rid of all the death drops, wouldn't we? One, two, three, four death drops to get there. And even that one as well. I, I want to bring that. The reason I'm not too well about the death drops is because of the... If we don't bring the supply ship along, we'll be alright. Let's garrison. And we're risking it, because we're bringing as much as possible. And we're besieging this. And unpause it. So, they're moving over, all of these. Mainly to... Let's just sit there. Where's that guy going to? Ah, he's, defense. Yeah, he's defending it with this thing. So I don't know what that is. I guess I could be a bit cheeky and go there. And then go there. Actually, you know what? Intercept. Intercept. Good grief. So, <laughs> I thought our mini tanks were mini tanks. Wow. They've got, as far as I can tell... Rifles and a sponson. That's all they've got. I'll flee that and exit combat. It is a defeat. I'm going to head over to Gug. And I'm having to limp back. Oh, are they going to be able to get to Gug first as well? Yes, they have. Wow. Wouldn't have thought about that. Um. Oh, and are we absolutely stuck now? Yeah, we are stuck. That's limping back. It's going to have to limp back to there. Then we'll have our fight. Um, let's move these back here. So this is something I did not expect. And also, I'm not really too sure what we're going to do here. I mean, I'm going to initiate some boarding with some of these middle ones here. But there's not much to be going on realistically. They've got a lot of tanks. I'm boarding these, and it's not going to take long to board them. There's the boarding. And we have captured one of them. And I'm just going to start ramming it into things. Oh, no, it's actually going to ramp off things in this particular case. Um, this one will say ram to there. This one will ram to there. Actually, no. Ram. Yeah, you can go up there. Guys at the back. They're on normal fire. I'm going to move them further in. A bit closer. For the ground, we have troops. Then I'm going to tell to board that. Yeah, it looked more impressive than it actually was. <laughs> Therefore, I mean, we've captured two of them. One of them's on fire. That's a victory. Gentle takeoff once again. And they're having to limp back. Okay. Wow. So... I think what we'll need to do about that is build a Kraken. Um, <laughs> taking Gug. This guy's attacking over there as well. Wow, it's that one, one, one force. But they've lost more than that. I'm not going to accept the automatic resolution. I'm going to fight manually. And start the fight. Because they've got lots of these tanks. But one of them's already blown itself up by ramming into the back. <laughs> So, yeah. We have rifles. We have those sponsors there. Either way, dealing with all the business of the day over here. They're just targeting that front one, I think. Yeah. It's now got no tracks. But it still has weapon. But I'm probably going to swap the fire. Good grief. What's the time to command on this thing? About 15 seconds, maybe longer. Anyway, I'm going to be switching its target because it's almost uh, it's actually almost destroyed, isn't it? I'll wait until all the right weapons have gone. Oh, yeah, the will come down. We'll target that. Yeah, it's, it's a mobile, so when it comes to the end of the fight, it will say, you know, it is a mobile. I'm going to speed this to max speed because, frankly, there's no point in Sitting around waiting for this thing to chip away. I'm going to go to aid and fire as well because we have the longevity to do this. I think that is pretty much disabled as well. Let's target the back here. I'm thinking we may be able to win this. Because, yeah, 
We've destroyed three of them. The others have surrendered. And they were probably going to run out of ammo first. And now they're having to limp back to there. Okay. So this guy wants a research treaty. Um, I'll counter-offer. The demand tribute as well, though. Oh, no. You receive tribute. And we'll get a research treaty. Interesting. Interesting. Um, receive some cash. 10% of their income. Hmm. Okay. That's a possibility. It all depends on... Darn it. Oh, they've got one. <laughs> the ritual site. Yeah, they have got a ritual site. There's one ritual site here. We, we own three of the f six. Yes. Another one is... Where is the other ritual sites? Well, one's there in Fog Castle. There is one in Bar Doom. And the other one is in... There. So, for now, is that right? You were, yeah, demand tribute. Yeah, accept. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. So they're running back, and I'm limping home. They are building some more stuff. Let's, let's have a quick look at this. They're building... That's one of them, but it's just in the sky for some reason. How interesting. I'm going to... I was going to spend some to build up our spy network, but obviously it didn't work out. I can probably... I can just attack this with everything, can't I? <laughs> I've got a Valiant as well. I've got one of their, one of their um, thingies. I don't know why it's taking so long to supply the ships. Is it because I'm building the Kraken there? Factories. Extra production and income. How much would that take to build? Two months. Let's put that in the queue. And we've got an incoming fleet. They're down to here, is it? Interesting. Okay. Can't intercept with this one. <laughs> Not that I would I expected to. Um I mean, I could probably intercept it as it goes past here. I'll be able to intercept it with the death drops. I don't know what it's got. But I'm not overly concerned. I just want to take this, and then we're fine. This is limping back. There's research complete, uh, complete for the aerial strategy. Let's go for then bureaucracy. Yep, yeah, that's the one we were waiting for. <clears throat> I am slowly rearming in Chisco. They want truce, receive tribute, and submission. Not now. I want to build a a market, maybe. Over here. I just want to wait until I get about there. Enough for a safe return. And we're intercepting their fleet. That's a bold move from this guy. Heading to the top right. And here's the fight. Let's start that. Immediately we'll go up. They have rifles. And we have seen these vessels before from them. And one pass of the death drops <laughs> should hopefully make light work. Of one of them. Well, one of them is falling out of the sky. Um, it is currently... Yep. Yeah, it, it's dead. Uh, <laughs> wow. Sadly, we're not able to lead very well with these. It says the worm guides us. He doesn't guide them very well. Oh, the worm is victorious. Are they limping home? 
I think so. They've flung the towel in. We've been hit by the sponge. Uh, let's pull back then. So, oh, it's dead. They've just, yeah, it's just destroyed. Okay. View the city. One, two, three, four. Plus these three tanks, which I'm not too worried about. If we were to attack with all of these, would we be able to win? Possibly. Do I want a couple of death drops in there? Yes, I do. Is the Kraken going to be built in two months? Yes, it is. So, let's just see how we get on. Uh, trade treaty, I will accept the offer. <clears throat> Actually, counter-offer trade treaty, but I will receive some cash. Because we can request it. And here... Temple... No, we're still doing that one. Fine. Um, we will in our main city, then. To factories. Extra production. <clears throat> and income. Is it worth it? We don't really build in Coltington. But I think it's nice to have it. And what else are we going to spend our money on? Realistically. We can go there and besiege it with all of the death drops. We're going to do it. And we'll bring, as, we'll bring enough for a safe return. We'll besiege it. And we'll besiege it, and I think they've, they've probably figured out what's going on here. <laughs> and, well, yeah, let's let's attack. So this is a big fight, probably one of the biggest we've had, and it's concerning because of what they have in terms of their defences there. I'm going to have two of the borders... Resolution is defeat. Oh, my resolution is defeat. I don't agree. Um, two of the borders are going to fly straight over these two and board this one. The other two are going to go right over the top and down and then board the back one. That's my intention. I am going to double stack these, which is not normally advisable. But hey, we'll see how we get on. These are going to go a bit further down. Um, that should be fine. This thing's going to stay where it is. We're going to start the fight immediately. This, I'm going to say move to there. So we're going past the aerial charges. The other ones will also go um, past. The problem is this thing. This suspendium rock that's in the way. I may, I may actually have to ram it out of the way. Why are they dropping altitude that quick? Um, either way, boarding on that one, and hopefully we have got into a decent position. We have not gone into a decent position. Next thing to do is to ram downwards like that, and it's pushing the suspendium rock out of the way, which is to be expected. There is the boarding that we are seeing. Board that ship there, yes. Ramming, I'm telling these to ram down. Mm, not overly working. Let's just get our death drops in as well. So that's just going to say move, and then we're going to say move them to there. And then get them in play. Uh, these want to ram downwards. Uh, the suspendium rock is... Oh, darn it. <laughs> right, can we just land the ship? If we just tell them to land the ship, can they push it down? Because all that's happened here... No, we're going to have to get out of the way. The vault, a lot of the crew have gone there. <laughs> They're all stranded on the suspendium rock. <laughs> They're all standard, uh, stranded on the suspendium rock, which is... More amusing to me than it should be. Um, then again. Uh, let's just move down. So, yeah, we are... We're getting past it. Oh, they've just ripped the engines off. Right, ram to there. At least we can get, like, two borders in. Um, this thing, we just... I mean, yeah. Move to there. Just get them back on board. Even if they're just getting back on board. Um, this guy's out. This guy's pretty much out as well. Um, the bombers are doing not much we're gonna bring them we're just gonna bring them up here and well good luck to anything that's in the way to be honest let's bring these further in there's the death drops doing their job i'm gonna board uh i'm gonna ground that ship and i'm gonna ground that ship this one is no longer under command so i can't do anything with the death drops are being targeted uh because of the way the aerial charges work you can very much ignore I think a lot of it because you if you constantly move they already set they set the charge they set the explosion um, explosive charge height as they leave the barrel so they have to set that like before which means that if you're up here and they fire them you just have to keep moving around which is exactly what's happening here we've already captured one the other two are pretty much dead 
the death drops are doing what is needed. And I'm boarding this thing. And because this thing is dropped down, moved up, we're able to actually be able to board with it. But we've probably lost a lot of stuff. Okay. That's a victory. Um... Gentle takeover. And there they go. They're running away. They are running away. And, oh look, we have a Kraken. I mean, if you've got a Kraken, you have to use a Kraken, right? <laughs> um, yeah, you have to bring a supply ship with it, by the look of it. There is civil service and supply depots and logistics centre complete. Double fleet supply limit and security ministry. Yeah, that sounds good. But there's a lot of technology like this we can get for cheap, which I think I will pick up. Alright, I mean, the Kraken. Can the Kraken take out a Titan Bladeweed? Enough for a safe return. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> I actually don't know what is more powerful, a Kraken or a Titan Bladeweed. Does this feel exploitative? Sending two creatures to fight? It does a bit. I mean, we're still doing it, but, you know, there's something going on there. Ooh, okay. So, uh, I mean, start? It's like tentacles via tentacles. Oh, we're getting grabbed. Oh, we're getting dragged in. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. Um, so there's our Kraken. <laughs> are we hitting it? Are we, are we doing anything? I have no idea. Um, there's definitely some sort of ritual going on here. And I think it is just getting attacked. I i don't know. I'm going to exit that combat. I don't think that would be desirable to stay there. Let's go back to one button. <laughs> and I think we'll leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. You know what? We've got what we came for. The whole point was to capture this. So, diplomacy. Make peace. Receive submission. So, gaining three rotation, losing them six. And demand tribute, which is 10% of their income. And receive some money. I could probably request a town or city. But I think that's fine. We'll make that offer. And achievement unlocked. The strong do what they want and the weak will suffer. I think that was. Either way. That's been a bit of airships conquer the skies. We are still disliked. But we have what we came for. Next episode. Hmm. How is this guy faring? They have... No... They do have a defensive pact with the people we've just been fighting. But I'm not concerned about that. Alright. They've also got not a huge amount of fleet. Steel research. Failed on 80%. Well, that's far from ideal, isn't it? Steel research. Oh, yes. About city planning we've got. Yeah. Um, over here, actually. Can we build a logistics centre? Oh, extra supply speed everywhere. Logistics centre. Logistics centre. <laughs> and, well, I'd want to build one there. Supply depot. A good. But it's going to be logistics centre. Okay, leaving it there for now. That's been over the airships. And very successful indeed. We've got Deep Coal Mine. We've got the Titan Blade Weed to destroy. It is probably very easy. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series as far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.